Well, of course, it's not Friday yet, but we are already feeling the fever. Can you believe we're talking about winter football? Winter football. Got to get <laughs> used to the sound of that one. Well, tonight is the start of the season for some triad high schools. The action on the gridiron pushed way back many months because of the pandemic. WFMY News News Luke Lidden joins us live now at Deadly High School in Greensboro for our game of the week. Yes, it has been a long time coming, hasn't it? We it's been more than a year since we've seen high school football here in the Triad, but that ends tonight. Can you hear the atmosphere blowing a little bit? Can you see the players behind me stretching? It's really happening. I, I really I really can't believe it. Um, although this week, week one will be a little more quiet than what they'll be accustomed to for week two and beyond. Because remember, Governor Cooper's executive order doesn't go into effect until tomorrow, which would allow up to 30% fan capacity at outdoor venues such as football games. But speaking of football itself, to the Page Pirates, they're in a little bit of a rebuilding mode for this season, introducing head coach Doug Robertson, but they still believe this game, this matchup, the game of the week, again, uh, will be a great test to see where they stand against a very proven opponent in the Dudley Panthers. You know, we'll play hard. You know, I think they're learning a new system. You know, we're a little bit behind being a new system, new coach, new staff. Uh, but I think the kids are, are starting to buy into the culture. And we'll see. You know, we, it, this will be our starting point against Dudley, and it's a great team to start with because they'll certainly tell us where we're, where our weaknesses are, and then we'll go from there and try to get better every week. Ah, football is back, people, and it's never been better to say that. Kickoff between the Panthers and the Pirates coming your way in a little bit at 7 o'clock, and we, of course, will have all of your highlights from all the games from around our region a little bit later tonight right here on W for Minus 2 at 11 o'clock, and be sure to stick around as our very own Amanda Ferguson will be live uh, previewing the East Forsyth Glen matchup, which also kicks off in just a few moments. But for now, that's a quick look at what we can expect for tonight, and we'll have much more later tonight at 11 o'clock.